Hi Bulldogs, it's Miss Fowler with First Page Friday. Today I'm going to share with you the first little bit of City of Ghosts. It's the first book in a trilogy, so that is three books. So this is the first of three books by Victoria Schwab. Part one, The Inspectors. Chapter one. People think that ghosts only come out at night or on Halloween, when the world is dark and the walls are thin. But the truth is, ghosts are everywhere. In the bread aisle at your grocery store, in the middle of your grandmother's garden, in the front seat on your bus. Just because you can't see them doesn't mean they aren't there. I'm sitting in history class and I feel the tap, tap, tap on my shoulder like drops of rain. Some people call it intuition, others second sight. That tickle at the edge of your senses telling you there's something more. This isn't the first time I felt it, not by a long shot. Not even the first time I felt it here at school. I've tried to ignore it, I always do, but it's no use. It wears away at my focus and I know the only way to make it stop is to give in, go and see for myself. From across the room, Jacob catches my eye, shakes his head. He can't feel that tap, 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 but he knows me well enough to know when I do. I shift in my seat, forcing myself to focus on the front of the classroom. Mr. Meyer is valiantly trying to teach, despite the fact that it's the last week of school before summer vacation. Toward the end of the Vietnam War in 1975, U.S. troops, my teacher drones on. Nobody can sit still, let alone pay attention. Derek and Will are sleeping with their eyes open. Matt is working on his latest paper football. Alice and Melanie are making a list. Alice and Mel Melanie are popular kids. You can tell because they look like copies. Same shiny hair, same perfect teeth, same painted nails. Where I'm all elbows and knees, round cheeks and curly brown hair. I don't even own any nail polish. I know you're supposed to want to be one of the popular kids, but the truth is I never have. It just seems like it would be exhausting trying to keep up with all the rules. Smile, but not too wide. Laugh, but not too loud. Wear the right clothes, play the right sports, care about things, but never care too much. Jacob and I have rules too, but those are different. As if on cue, Jacob stands up and makes his way toward Melanie's desk. He could be a popular kid, I think, with his floppy blonde hair, bright blue eyes, and good humor. He shoots me a devilish look before perching on the edge of her desk. He could be, but there's just one problem. Jacob's dead. So that is the first little bit of City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. If you think it sounds like something you would like, you can put it on hold in Destiny and we'll deliver it to your homeroom teacher. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful spring break.